Hello everyone, this is Old Soldier. Today I'm going to talk about rifle squeeze bags and how their fillers can be used as emergency rations. What are rifle squeeze bags? They are small bags that are put under the rifle buttstock to make elevation changes and stabilize the rifle while firing from the prone. A small change in the height of the buttstock can make a great change in the position of the crosshairs or impact of the bullet. Uh, these squeeze bags are a staple of long range precision shooting. Uh, this video is not so much about the squeeze bag. There are plenty of other videos that will describe what and how they're used for. Um, this video is rather about what is used to fill it. On the left is a squeeze bag I made over 25 years ago. It's made with the pant leg of an old pair of BDU pants. Uh, I wanted to use this because at the time there was no such thing as a commercially produced squeeze bag and the pant leg, the drawstring on it, would be used to open and close easily so I could change the filling, the amount of what was used to fill in there. And at the time, and what I used then and what I still use, is double plastic bag white rice. Uh, you could use a lot of different fillers. You can use sand, some of the new pre-made manufacturer stuff, use foam pellets, pinto beans, but I choose white rice because, as one of my colleagues pointed out, you could eat it in an emergency. It could provide a few meals for you or perhaps you and your sniper partner. And if resupply becomes compromised and you get hungry, being hungry sucks. Um, if you do use the filler, nothing would be lost as the bag could be refilled with dirt or sand and you could still use it for its intended purpose. Um, you could use dried beans like pinto beans. But I choose white, or I chose white rice, um, as it is quicker to cook. Uh, I was in the military at the time, and I could potentially see uh, being deployed overseas, and if resupply ran low, I could potentially eat the rice. Now, is there a low probability of this happening? Yes. Uh, I have another esteemed colleague that I work with um, who uses this story about me, about me using. Uh, white rice in my squeeze bags as a humorous antidote about me. He's a great guy, but he has never deployed outside of the United States or its territories, and he has never worked in a non permissive environment. Look, uh, life is uncertain, and the world today is crazy. And if you are in the military and you work overseas, or if you're not in the military and you work overseas, and perhaps something that you do, you do anything with precision, long rifle shooting, or maybe even if you're a varmint hunter inside the state, why not have an item that serves two functions? Rifle squeeze bags and emergency rations. Now, on the right, underneath the buttstock, is the uh, squeeze bag that I currently use. Uh, it's made by the good folks at Crosstack. I simply removed the foam pellets and replaced the filling with uh, double bag white rice. Um, a squeeze bag can be as simple as a sock with the appropriate filler that you want with a knot in the end. Or it can be something that I made out of the pant leg or you can use something pre-bought and pre-manufactured. Uh, some of you out there are going to be thinking, look, this is a little bit crazy and I'll never use this. And some of you can be thinking, hey, this is just another way to make uh, an object, one object, instead of filling uh, one use, have two uses. So, anyway, use to your heart's content. Uh, this is for your use. Your mileage may vary. This is Old Soldier, out.